All right, summer is here. That means frizzy hair. So how do we get this all together? Joining us now, beauty expert Janet Jackson. And we've got so many ways to make your hair look sleek and cool and ready for the summer. Yes, and I got a few quick tips on mm -hmm. how to do just that. The first one is just by using socks. So I have socks here, just regular socks, and we're going to do a fancy bun. Um, and what you need to do is just take this first sock and just snip the top mm -hmm. off, as I did here, and then technically roll it. Okay. And you need at least shoulder length hair for you this, right? You do need shoulder length hair. And what I'm going to do is just simply roll around. Roll the hair around. And you don't have to be that neat with it, right? Which no, is what I love. No, you don't. It's all about having that messy, undone hair. Um, so it's not about it being perfect. And there you go. And, and she's done? She's, well, we're, we're almost close. there. <laughs> we're going to do hairpins. And what a lot of people don't know is that you have to put the hairpin in properly. It's okay. about putting the jaggedy part face down to the scalp and leaving mm -hmm. the smooth part on top. So and how that's you, how it anchors. But how do you know which bobby pin to use for your hair? Well, it, it, with finer hair, you're probably good with using bobby pins. Okay. And then for looser hair, it, it really depends on the look. So for a tighter look, you'll use the bobby pins and the hair pins, then it's not so tight. Okay. But it really depends. Another quick trick, spraying the hair, fin, hair pin first and then putting it in. So then if you're not sure about it anchoring the hair, mm -hmm. the hairspray will actually let the hairpin stick to the hair. So it's not going to go anywhere. That's smart. OK, and then the, the crisscross method, is that still a thing? The crisscross method, it, it actually helps. OK. Um, but for people who don't know about the crisscross method, spraying the hairpin, putting it in and yep. putting and just anchoring it in will keep the hair in place and then okay. you don't have to worry about the crisscross method because I feel like the crisscross method is for hairstylists who actually know. Right. Okay. So this and looks lovely, beautiful. You look great. Thank you for this. Now, uh, we want to create volume. It's all about the volume, hard to do in the summer. Uh, and also for someone who might have, you know, a different hairline that wants to make it look more full. Exactly. So, we do. so for anyone who wants a quick updo, Sleeping with your hair up like this mm -hmm. with just a loose scrunchie is amazing. You want to spray the roots with volumes, volumizing spray, okay. and put the hair up, sleep with this overnight, and you'll get that automatic volume. And hair should be uh, not, not just freshly washed, right? No, not freshly okay. washed. Um, and if it is freshly washed, if you want to use dry shampoo at the roots, okay. or just using the volumizing hairspray, that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Another thing that people struggle with is hairlines and doing updos. So we'll turn Kanisha there. And another quick trick is just using eyeshadow. <gasps> You're going to fill it in. Eyeshadow. So I have an array of colors here. So for any hair color, you can choose. So for Kanisha, we're going to use like a dark brown. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fill it in. And that just gives the illusion of a fuller hairline. Oh, you want to make sure you use a firm brush to apply the eyeshadow. Okay. And you see it, it already is yeah. filled and in nicely. And this is a trick that I use on TV. Um, Smart. Jobs and just in general, if you have hairline issues, balding issues, eyeshadow yes. is a great thing to use and it gives the illusion of fullness. Yeah. Now, Janet, we're running, we're running out of time, but I really quickly want to mention our last lovely model and we've got bangs, but without bangs. Bangs. So, if you don't have bangs and you want to venture that way, you can try doing a ponytail, which mm -hmm. we've done here with Jamie. Um, and we use the ponytail and anchored the, or put the ponytail towards the front to create the bang. And now what I'm going to do is simply finish off the look mm -hmm. and you have a very cute top knot oh, with bangs. I love it. There, I know there is so much more, Janet, so I'm going to send everyone to your website. It is JanetJacksonHairStylist.com. Uh, we've got all the hacks, everything you need to know. Yes, and also you can check it out at jujuhairstudio.com as well for all the different looks and actually just hair and makeup services as well. So great, ladies. You look lovely. Thank you so much.